What's up, guys? My name is Marcus Huskins, and thank you for joining me. As always, if you're finding this content useful, please go ahead and do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, and I appreciate your support. Okay, so moving right along, I want to take a look at a really, really useful MIDI editing feature that we have available within Studio One. So I want to pay attention to editing adjacent notes, more specifically adjusting the ending and the beginning so that they move together. So to start off with, let's actually use another shortcut, which I like to use all the time. Let's select these two notes over here, and I'm going to use my invert selection shortcut, which essentially deselects the notes that I selected and selects all of the other notes. And then we can go ahead and quickly delete everything else. So we're left with what we want to work with. And if you're looking for that shortcut, we can find it in keyboard shortcuts. Just type in invert and you'll find invert selection. You can enter a key combo, assign it, click apply, click OK, and then it will be available to use as a key command. OK, so now moving on to the point of this video, let's take a look at these two particular notes. As you can see, these are butted up against each other. And this is what we refer to as legato phrases, where they're directly joined and they're butted up against each other, where the first note ends over here, the next note begins. So now if you wanted to move the timing between these two, let's say that we wanted this note over here to start over here. So what we would have to do is first of all, select this one and then select this one. And it's essentially two moves and two different mouse clicks. So that's not really being that efficient. Let's undo that. If you want to move the starting position of this note and you want to maintain the relative timing between both of these, if you hold down the alter option modifier, notice that we get a different icon here. And now I can move the positioning of the second note and the ending of the first note will follow suit. So that's extremely useful when you're editing legato phrases. It can also be used for chords and things like that, but I find it generally works best on single melodic lines where you have a legato style programming like we have over here. So just a really, really useful feature. And the other thing is we don't have to first select both of these events and then hold down the modifier in order to do this. We can just hover our cursor in the middle here and hold down that alter option modifier and it auto selects both of those notes so that we can move them together. Just a way for us to be able to save some mouse clicks when we're editing any program and we want to adjust the timing of our lead notes that are programmed in this fashion. Now, one thing I do want to point out right off the bat is that let's say we had a little bit of spacing or positioning in between these two notes. So they weren't actually recorded in a legato fashion. So we have legato over here. I can bring them back together. We'll just undo that. If you end up doing that, then you'll note that if I hold down my alter option modifier, I'm not getting that icon. If I select both of these, I'm still not getting that icon. The main reason for that is because in order for that key command to work, you definitely want to make sure that your notes are programmed in this legato way. And then we have the option to use this modifier to move both of these notes together. So just a really, really useful modifier when you've programmed any MIDI information or note data in that fashion and you want to move both notes together. Anyways, that's all the time I have available for today. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll do my best to get back to you. And as always, we will catch you in the next video. Cheers.